Hey guys, in the last video we checked how to put code on GitHub and in this video we'll see how to use that code to do continuous delivery via Netlify. If you remember, we hosted our website on Netlify and the problem with it is every time you need to do some change here, you have to go and delete the site and do a new change. That does not work. Moreover, all of this is not working. What to do? What we need to do is we need to delete the site first and say delete site. Oh, the site is deleted, but now it gives you another option of new site from kit. So once the site is deleted, you can select from GitHub for continuous deployment, which means whenever you push changes to GitHub, it will automatically deploy. Deployments, it will automatically publish your website. And now it shows you all the, all your uh, repositories and let's select this it says okay branch to deploy master this is fine basic build settings don't need any for now this is good just click on deploy you'll see site deploy in progress it is deployed just check yes it is working again we need to change the name we need to change the name. Where is it? Site settings. Go change site name. Make it Pratap Chennai again. Since the previous one is deleted, it's available right now. Now the magic starts. Anything you, which you push here in the master branch will be deployed here. You want to see that? I want to show that. Let's see that so let's do so here is our project okay and if you have done the exercise you wouldn't have this here let me delete this for you so i generally use the terminal here and the way it just appeared is control and then back tick it's near one this this one so if you do control plus back tick it is it appears and then it disappears so i i use it like this let me delete these two test files i don't want test files unnecessary okay done and now i want to do some change so i want to do a theme color and the theme color looks like this let me zoom it a little bit so that you guys can see. So the theme color is this, but this is from my own website. I want the same color which we have for the entire site. And the color is, background color is this. So these changes you will see on your mobile. So when you open it on your mobile device or anyone opens, you see you will see a color, color on, on the address bar as well. So so say this 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 is one change which i wanted to do and it is done now all i need to do is remember the remember those commands which i taught you git commands git status see okay so two files are deleted and one file is modified let's see what has been modified one content added it shows plus and test files are deleted very nice now git add dot to add everything git commit minus m fix theme color and all you need to do now is do git push so the push starts working and now we'll see something very nice which i really love netlify for for providing all of this for free for everyone you see this you go to deploys says today at already published deployed in two seconds it took two seconds for netlify to check to send that change 
Now we cannot see that change here right now, but we can see that change. You see this? We go to view page source and you see there is theme color. Let me see if I can show you on my machine. So it doesn't work on browser, I just checked, but you see this is here. So any change which you want to do, let's let's try some more changes. If we want to do something like this, if you want to learn coding with me, just get your hands dirty, git add, because we know we have done only one change, git commit minus m, fix message, git push, git push is enough right now. And let's see. Just go to deploy, refresh. See how good it is. Continuous deployment. You don't need to manually do anything. It's here. Learn coding with me. Join me at this course. This is amazing. I'm, I'm super psyched about this. It's, it's super awesome. In one more video, which is going to be advanced, I'll show how to do continuous integration and continuous deployment with Netlify using branches but this is not meant for everyone so this is good enough for the lesson keep playing with your website keep running it keep editing it and keep taking feedbacks from your friends and family keep showing your website to people and ask for feedback we'll do a lot more on the profile very soon in our next lessons stay tuned also this time yes like the video subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Let people know that you are learning. Please do that. Thank you so much. Bye.